bringing up into everlasting life springing up into everlasting life but we must ask the lord we ask the lord the lord will satisfy every one of us in jesus name romans chapter 8 verse 32 romans chapter 8 verse 32 he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all how much how shall he not with him also freely give us how many things that's enough all things he said he has given us christ for our salvation he has given us christ for our redemption he has given us christ for reconciliation with god and he said if god has been so kind if god has been so good that he gave us jesus christ for our salvation for our redemption for reconciliation with god how much more then will he not give us all things look at one word there freely everybody say freely it is free i said it is free why will you not receive you will receive he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for many people for many people tell me out loud for us all for us all jesus is for me i said jesus is for me his salvation is for me his redemption is for me his grace is for me he that spared not his own son, but he delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him? Because he has given him to every one of us, then with him he freely gives us all things we are going to receive tonight. I come to point number two. Point number two, drinking with faith from heaven's inexhaustible water drinking with faith drinking with faith we come to the lord with faith that means with assurance that means with expectation that cannot be denied or disappointed you cancel the word disappointment out of your mind any doubt that comes to your mind that's coming from a wrong source and he said how do you know that what you came for you are going to get you say i reject that in jesus name i reject every doubt i reject unbelief because i know i am going to be blessed i said i know i am going to be blessed that means then you come to the Lord with faith, nothing doubting, drinking with faith from heaven's inexhaustible water. In John chapter 7, John chapter 7, I mean, even from verse 37, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst if any man any man anyone whatever your life had been in the past you know when we come to retreat like this the devil may be busy doing his ugly work saying you of all people don't you know how bad you are how sinful you are you of all people how terrible you are you of all people, how disobedient you are. And then he will say, although God is going to bless other people. You know, the devil is clever. If the devil told you that God will bless nobody, you say that's a lie. But, it's, you know, he'll tell you a little truth. God is going to bless other people. Then he will say, but you, 
How can you expect the blessing of the Lord? Satan is a liar. I said, Satan is a liar. Look at what Jesus said. If what? Any man, thank God I am blessed. I said, thank God you are blessed. Any man, if any man says, let him come unto me and dream. He says, any man, don't think about your feeling. Don't say, I'm a doubter. I'm an unbeliever. I'm a sinner. How can I be blessed? Any man, the Lord is waiting for you tonight. And when the call comes to you, you will come and you are going to be blessed in Jesus' name. If any man says, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, Lord, I believe. I said, Lord, I believe. How many of you are believing the Lord tonight? Where are you? The Lord has blessed you already. He that believeth on me, as the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But they speak he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him shall receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Whatever it is that has not yet been given, it will be given tonight. Yeah. Revelation chapter 22. Revelation chapter 22, reading from verse 17. Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. Well, if Satan is telling you that you don't have a reason to come, the Spirit of the living God is inviting you and is saying, The blessing belongs to you. Salvation belongs to you. Forgiveness belongs to you. Redemption belongs to you. Healing belongs to you. Deliverance belongs to you. All the provision coming from Calvary, everything belongs to you. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that hear us say, Come. It's saying, Everybody around you is even telling you, Come. 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 Why are we telling you to come? Because the desires of your heart tonight is that night when they are going to be fulfilled. And let him that is a thirst come. If you are thirsty, if you want blessing, if you want the touch of the Lord, if you want the salvation of the Lord, if you want sufficiency coming from the Lord, if you want the needs of your life to be fulfilled, it says, and whosoever will, whosoever will, there is no discrimination in the sight of the Lord. The blessings have arrived. Whosoever will, let him take of the water of life. What's the last word? Really? You don't pay anything. Really? It comes to you free because Christ has paid the whole price. We're coming back again to the rat John. John, just according to St. John, chapter 10, verse 10. John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life. Jesus Christ said the reason he came is so that we will have life. Where the thief has stolen something good out of your life, has stolen joy out of your life, has stolen happiness out of your life, has stolen fruitfulness out of your life, where the devil has stolen satisfaction out of your life, where the devil has stolen fulfillment out of your life, where the devil has stolen the victory you used to have, the dominion you used to have, he has stolen that away out of your life. Jesus Christ said, now tonight I have come that you might have life. Everything you have lost, you are going to regain. And that they might have it more abundantly. It's inexhaustible. That well is inexhaustible. And the Lord has promised that you will have life and you will have it more abundantly. 
whatever it is you have got that gives you joy that gives you happiness that gives you satisfaction that gives you fulfillment tonight you will have more of it i say you will have more of it I see that God is wanting to pour out abundance upon every life, even from tonight. And tonight, it is yours in Jesus' name. It is coming. I said it is coming. Do you remember the children of Israel? They were going in the wilderness. And then they were all thirsty. And they were saying, what shall we drink? What shall we drink? And then they came to a rock. And he said, we need water, not rock. And we need the fulfillment of what the Lord has said. And give us a kind of foretaste of that thing the Lord has promised. And then they came to a rock. And Moses then began to pray and he said, Lord, we need water. All I see is a rock. And God said, what's that in your hand? And he said, it's a rod, a rod, and then a rock. And God said, lift up that rod and smite the rock. And it smote the rock. Bible students, what came out? Water came out, water came out. And tonight, that rock is Jesus Christ. He had been smitten for you and for me. And the water of provision and satisfaction and redemption that water will come out for you tonight in Jesus name in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 and did all drink how many of them drank I will drink I said I will drink and you know the word of God is very clear that there's no discrimination with God as you come here today, a boy, a girl, a child, in a children's church, children retreat, a youth in the youth section, in the youth retreat, and then the men and the women, the brothers and the sisters, the leaders and the workers who are here, all of us will drink. Satisfaction will come to our lives. Answered prayer will come from heaven. The power of God will roll away every problem in Jesus' name. The abundance of God, the provision of God, the power of God, the healing of God, the deliverance of God that will satisfy every soul, every mind, everyone will satisfy every one of our families in Jesus' name. You know, God has not changed. And God is telling us, as he did for them in the wilderness, that all those millions of people with Moses and with Aaron, with Miriam, with the Levites, and with all those priests and all those children of Israel, with all their tribes, the young and the old, the men and the women. See how Moses struck the rock, and then the water gushed out, and all of them, without exception, they drank. All of us here, without exception. I said, all of us here, without exception. From the highest to the lowest, from the leaders to the members, to the invitees, all of us without exception, we're going to drink out of the abundance of the Lord in Jesus' name. And did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock, tell me the rest was Christ. That rock was Christ. And Jesus Christ said, what you are three are gathered in my name. There I will be in the midst of them. That Christ is here tonight. The rock is here tonight. And that water will flow out to everyone here tonight in Jesus' name. You feel the satisfaction in your soul. You feel the emptiness in your heart. You feel the thirst. There's something you're looking for. There's a void. There's a vacuum. And there's an emptiness in your heart. And the Lord is saying, come tonight and let me feel that vacuum. And let me feel 
that emptiness tonight as you come to the Lord it will fill you to overflowing in Jesus name they all drank we shall all drink I said we shall all drink they all drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ and so as Christ invites us tonight we're going to drink let me show you that story in Exodus chapter 17 Exodus chapter 17 and see that God whenever he makes a provision like that he makes that provision for everyone he makes that provision for the men and the women for the boys and the girls for the youths and the adults for the members and the invitees everyone don't count yourself out everyone in exodus chapter 17 i'm reading from verse 1 and all the congregation of the children of israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin after their journeys according to the commandment of the lord and pitched in refitting and there was no water for the people to drink there was no water for the people to drink begin to think about the things in your life many things you have asked for you have worked for you have desired you have pursued you have run after and then you have not got just like these people the great desire to have the water to quench their thirst and it says there was no water to drink verse 5 and the Lord said unto Moses go on before the people and take with thee of the elders of Israel take with thee of the elders of Israel you see those elders they were all united in expectation with Moses they saw the rock they saw the rock and they saw the whole congregation thirsty and then God said let Moses and the elders be united together and I will give you water and thank God there is unity in this camp I said thank God there is unity in this camp for more like group coordinators and coordinators and women coordinators and all our Tuesday leaders and all the youth leaders, everyone, thank God for the unity among the people of God. We're united in faith and God is going to do wonders in our midst in Jesus' name. In all our camps and locations, the state of us here, the region of us here, and all those coordinators and their workers, we thank God on your behalf for your unity. With that unity, God is going to richly bless everyone in Jesus' name. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people and take what be of the elders of Israel and thy rod, wherewith thou smotest the river. Take it in thine hand and go. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in hurry and thou shalt smite the rock and thou shalt do what shall smite the rock the lord is telling us that christ as he's meeting christ as he was crucified christ as he gave his life that out of that sacrifice of christ out of that crucifixion of Christ, blessing will flow into your life. Redemption will flow into your life. Salvation will flow into your life. The power of God, the provision of the Lord will flow into your life. And tonight is that night. I said tonight is that night. Will you say, tonight is my night. Say that again, tonight is my night. This water representing the blessing of God. This water representing the miracle of God. This water representing all the provision of the Lord. Everything will flow into our lives tonight in Jesus' name. 
And so it says, there shall come water out of each that the people may drink. We're going to drink. I said, we're going to drink. You will drink. I will drink. Give me a good amen. Our leaders will drink. Our families will drink. The men will drink. And the women will drink. Our invitees will drink. Everybody will drink to satisfaction in Jesus' name. And then it says, they drank out of that rock. And the rock that followed them was Christ. And the Lord has given us illustration here, example here. A foretaste here. That as it happened to every one of them without exception. Of all the millions of people, that in that same way, it will happen to every one of us. And tonight, you will not miss your blessing in Jesus' name. It tells us in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 33, I am blessed tonight. I said I am blessed tonight. The provision of the Lord is mine tonight. It will be yours in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 33, we're reading there from verse 13. Here, ye that are far off, what I have done. The Lord says, he has even done it. It's only for you now to see it. The Lord has done it. The request of your heart, the Lord has done it. The prayer in your heart, the Lord has done it. And the need in your life, the Lord has done it. He says in that verse 13 here, Ye that are far off, what I have done. And ye that are near, acknowledge my might. When that power begins to operate in your life, it says, acknowledge my might. Look at verse 16, He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of the rocks. Bread shall be given him. Bread shall be given him. The Lord is telling us there is no lack. The Lord is going to provide everything. Bread shall be given him. And his waters shall be sure. And his waters shall be sure. Your blessing is sure. Your blessing is certain. There is no doubt in heaven. There is no doubt here on earth in our camp. There is no doubt in all the camps where we are gathered together that tonight our waters shall be sure. In verse 17, Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They shall behold the land that is afar off. Thine heart shall meditate terror. Where is the scribe? Where is the receiver? Where is he that counted the towers? Where are the receivers? Are the receivers here tonight? I said, are the receivers here tonight? You will receive in Jesus' name. Number one, drawing from his fullness. Drawing from his fullness. The word of the Lord is full. And it's full to overflowing. And it says, we draw out that fullness.